This is the Look Back Wrestling Show, and I'm your host, Ali Zaka. What up, guys? All right, so let's go and get into this week's Raw and SmackDown. So, Raw opened up with the gauntlet match. Like, it, it was phenomenal. It's like just one match that lasted, what, what? Well, it was like over, it was longer than the Royal Rumble. It was longer, it was like almost two hours long. And Seth Rollins broke a record where he was in the match, I believe, for an over an hour like it was crazy now those stats could be wrong but those stats are out there you can look it up on what on what culture and i'm pretty sure of wrestle zone and steven larson probably talked about it as well i'm pretty sure you're not just getting your new wrestling information from just one source you're pretty much pretty sure you're getting it from everybody you should get it from everybody because cool to see everybody's thoughts and everything but yeah it was a crazy match so it started off with roman reigns and Rollins. So Roman came out to the ring. He's talking and everything. And Rollins comes out. And they have this back and forth. And Rollins beats Roman in a long match. I think they both went 30 minutes. Then Rollins beat Cena in another 30 minute match. And then Rollins finally loses to Elias. He just drained and can't, can't keep up. After that, Elias takes on Finn Balor. Finn Balor beats Elias. And then The Miz takes on Finn Balor. The Miz beats Finn, with the help of the entourage, and then after the Miz beats Finn, you got Braun Strowman, the monster among men. And Miz try like hightail out her. No, he gets caught. The Miz gets beat down, um, and Braun Strowman t- takes out the Miz arise and just pretty much destroys it. Like he single handedly destroys everybody and stands tall. And then Oscar gets a bat or she gets a in ring promo where she talks about, you know, how Nia Jax not ready for Asuka. Nia Jax comes out and attack Asuka, beats her down, gives her not one but three leg drops. Then we get Titus Worldwide versus the bar. And Titus Worldwide won. They came out with the win in this one. I believe Titus O'Neill got the pin. And the whole time I watch this match, I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, man, the crowd don't really seem hyped for Apollo. Like, we need to get the crowd hyped for Titus Worldwide and Apollo Crews. Like, let's make them a tag team champions. And let's get them off. Like, I don't care. They can be the, the um, what's the word I'm looking for? Interim? The interim tag team? Or the, what's, what do you call those champs? The holding champs? Until somebody else take the belt off of? Transitional champs. There you go. They can be transitional champs from the bar to the revival. Like, let them be the guys. Then you get... Sasha, Bailey, and Mickey versus Absolution and Alexa Bliss. Sasha gets the pin. Like, her team wins pretty much. And then Absolution try to take out, you know, Sasha Banks and them. And then they try to beat down Mickey. Alexa Bliss saves Mickey. And they end up beating up everybody else. Wow. Well, they end up beating Absolution and standing tall. Mickey and Alexa Bliss does while Sasha and Bailey gets knocked out the ring. And that was the main event. That was the main event of Raw. And that was a very, like, it wasn't that much. It's a go-home show for Elimination Chamber. And I will do a, a Elimination Chamber preview episode, like, right after this episode. So that way you can go ahead and get your week's Raw Smackdown and don't have to worry about Elimination Chamber. And then you can go watch the Elimination Chamber preview because if you're a fan of Raw, you want to see what's going to happen and what my thoughts going to be. So SmackDown opens up with the phenomenal one, AJ Styles, and he's talking about how, you know, he's getting screwed over, but, you know, it doesn't matter. He'll take them all, give them many more men, and he'll beat them all. Like, he'll, he'll, he'll stand tall at the end because he, he is the phenomenal one, AJ Styles. And then this caused Baron Corbin to come out and pretty much call out AJ Styles because AJ's like, I'll beat them. And Baron's like, you didn't beat me. I beat you twice already. And AJ's sitting there thinking to himself, like, when did he, when did he beat me? And as Baron's going on, how he's going to beat everybody, Kevin Owens comes out and AJ Styles trying to make a joke how like Kevin looks pretty slim because he doesn't have Sami Zayn on him anymore. And Kevin's like, whatever, I'm going to beat you guys. And then he doesn't need Kev- he doesn't need Sami. He'll win regardless. And then Sam Matt comes out and is saying that, you know what? We won't get a match. It'll be Dolph Ziggler versus Kevin Owens. And it's going to be Baron Corbin versus AJ Styles. And Dolph Ziggler versus Kevin starts now. 
and you hear the needle scratch, everything goes black, and then Dolph Ziggler theme song plays, which doesn't make sense whatsoever. It's already silent. Why is there a needle scratching in silence? Doesn't make sense. They need to fix that. ASAP Rocky. Fix it, SmackDown. And Dolph Ziggler and Kevin Owens got some time. They got a lot of time. There's an opening match. It came down to a distraction by Sami Zayn. Dolph Ziggler looked, his, looked away, gets kicked in the back of the head, or gets the side of the head, and knocked out. Kevin Owens gets the victory with the help of Sami Zayn. Then Jinder Mahal comes out and talks about Bobby Roode and how Bobby Roode, here's his list, and, and Randy Orton's not on his list. Bobby Roode put, him, put himself first, and Jinder Mahal's not on the list. And Bobby Roode comes out in a suit and tie. Bobby Roode, I like, when I saw it, I freaked out. I was like, oh my gosh, Bobby Roode is wearing a suit and tie. He's wearing a suit and tie, which means heel turn coming soon. I please, I hope it, I hope the heel turn comes soon. The hope is Bobby Roode versus Randy Orton at WrestleMania, and there's a heel Bobby Roode. It will be glorious. No pun intended. But Bobby Roode's like, I'm not scared of Randy Orton. I'm not scared of anybody. I'm just tired of getting RKO'd. Like, it's, it's, it's a reasonable thing to be tired of. Like, who wants to get RKO'd? And he's like, I'm tired of talking about Randy Orton. Gender, let's handle our business now. And then Randy Orton comes out. And Randy Orton starts talking. And then he starts attacking Jinder Mahal. So Jinder Mahal gets knocked out the ring. Baru gets the upper hand on Randy Orton. And Randy Orton tries to hit him with the RKO. He reverses it. Hits him with the glorious DDT. Baru gets in the ring. As his music starts playing, he gets a coloss from Jinder Mahal, who stands tall. Which, this, I'm going to just go ahead and jump to later tonight. Causes Shannon Mack to put Jinder Mahal, or no, sorry. He puts a match at Fastlane, Baru versus Randy Orton with no Jinder Mahal. And Daniel's like, Jinder, been, he stood tall not once, but twice. No, he stood tall this week. And Shannon's like, no, Randy stood tall last week. But I was like, no, Randy didn't stay tall last week. Jinder Mahal stood tall twice. No, it wasn't that. Daniel said Randy stood Still tall, sorry. Daniel said gender still tall twice while Bobby called Randy out for the United States Championship match. That's what Shane said. Shane's like, no, Bobby called Randy so he should get the match. And Daniel's like, no, gender should get the match. He beat them both last week, like stood tall last week or the last two weeks. Tripping over my words there. Speaking of tripping over stuff. You get Charlotte, Becky, and Naomi versus the Riot Squad. And the Riot Squad win this one. They win the six-woman tag team match. And um, it makes sense because you want the Riot Squad, Ruby Riot's leader, to like have the upper hand and get at least one victory. So they pin Becky off of like a bunch of like chaos ensued as everybody started getting the ring all at once and, and off the like the chaos and confusion. Ruby ended up getting the upper hand on Becky Lynch, and they knocked her out. And Riot, Ruby was saying at the end of it, like another promo, she was like, well, guess what? We took out one of your girls, Charlotte. Now we got one more, and they're going to have to get you at Fastlane. So Charlotte's like, "Take on, bring it on, Riot Squad. Like, apparently, the only way I can beat you, Ruby, is a face in a, in a title match. Which I was like, wait a minute. Why, why do that? Why put your title online against Ruby Riot? You want this vendetta. It's... It's not her. She doesn't earn it. She hasn't earned it. Her squad's him getting beat by one person. But anyway, so fast as you have Charlotte versus Ruby Riot. Okay. So the next match on the show was the New Day versus Gable and Benjamin. And before Gable and Benjamin came out, the New Day still throwing out pancakes to everybody. They're throwing pancakes into the whole crowd. One dude had a box of pancakes thrown on him. And my whole time thinking like, What's this pancake joke? Like, what, what am I missing? Are, is New Day making pancakes? Is there a New Day pancake mix out there that I don't know about? And what flavor is it? Is it booty flavor? Gosh, what has WWE done? But anyway, so this match comes down to another referee. Just don't know what's going on. As Coffee Kingston distracts the ref. And the referee did not see the pin that Benjamin got on New, or New Day. Got on Big E. Big E was able to tag out and get old boy Xavier Woods into the match. And Xavier Woods ended up getting the pin on Shelton Benjamin. So it's been two weeks now that Benjamin and Gable have been stripped of a win. And not only that, the New Day will face the Usos, I believe I heard that right, at Fastlane. Now that's 
time can change, but apparently be the number one contenders now. Like, wait a minute, it, that doesn't make sense. So, unless they make it a ladder match at Fast Lane, which I think they should do a ladder match at WrestleMania for one of the tag team championships. If not, they had a ladder match last year. Hmm. So the ladder match at Fast Lane would be okay. But the thing is, what I'm, what I'm getting to here is because the Bludgeon Brothers been running through jobbers. Gable and Benjamin been getting like they've been losing matches, not because of them, but because of the referees. And like the dude that's been cheating to win. They cheated again. And they're the good guys. So out of New Day becoming heels and Gable and Benjamin becoming faces because people are gonna start sympathizing with them. I don't know. But then again, WWE writes how they wanna write. Speaking of the Bludgeon Brothers, they beat another set of jobbers at the New Day match. And then you get the finale, the main event, AJ versus Baron Corbin. AJ wins. He beats Baron. And then Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens comes out and try to beat up Baron. Baron just pretty much end of days everybody. AJ Styles already left the ring, so he doesn't get end of days. But Sami and Owens get end of days, and the match goes off with Baron Corbin staying tall. Or the show goes off with Baron Corbin staying tall. And that's Raw SmackDown this week. Um, I like Raw this week. I think the Gauntlet match was a cool thing, and it was something cool to watch. And it's a good go home show. So I'm looking. At, I'm excited. I'm looking forward. I guess looking forward to the same thing. That's what I was going to say. I'm looking forward to. I'm excited for Elimination Chamber. It's one of my favorite matches of WWE. So I'm excited for it. And, and let's go. Let's 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 do this. You know, it's this Sunday night. So yeah, that's my review of Raw and SmackDown this week. And on the Look Back Wrestling Show. Let, let me know what you guys think. Please put in the comment section below. Please tell me what your thoughts on Raw SmackDown this week. Or any questions you have for me, what my picks are. And if you stay tuned, you will see in the next video my Elimination Chamber preview. Thank you guys for watching this episode of the Look Back Wrestling Show. See you next time. Keep being awesome. Thank you guys for watching this episode. I really appreciate it. Please like comment in the comment section below and please subscribe for more episodes of grind for success movie breakdowns or whatever it is you're watching on my channel i have different stuff from interviews to other movie reviews to wrestling reviews if you're a wrestling fan please please subscribe if you want to see all that and see what's going on also you can follow me on snapchat here follow me on instagram there to see what i'm doing my personal life as well as my business and Ninja Warrior. And lastly, you can watch the last episode of Grind Tour Success here. You can watch the last episode of Movie Breakdowns there. Thank you guys once again. I really appreciate it. See you next time. Keep being awesome.